If you're like me, one of the biggest expenses you have is your automobile, and you want your automobile to last as long as possible and to operate as efficiently as possible. So should you trust Amazon Basics Full Synthetic Engine Oil? Now that's a pretty good price. For under $20, you can purchase five quarts. That's not much more than conventional oil, and it's a lot less than a lot of other full synthetic brands such as Mobile One. So the question remains, should you trust it? Well, today we're gonna do some testing to find out which one of these brands is the best. Also, just as a reminder, I'm not sponsored by Mobile One, Amazon Basics, or Valvoline. I do independent testing. Viewers requested this video, and that's why we're doing it. So let's get the testing underway and see which one of these brands is the best. Well, I don't have a multi-million dollar oil testing lab. There are some oil properties that can be tested easily to compare oil performance. In the first test, we'll be measuring cold temperature oil flow. Why does this matter? When an engine is first started, you really want that oil flowing as soon as possible to begin lubricating the engine. So the oil that we'll be testing will be placed in the freezer that's at 15 below zero Fahrenheit. We'll leave it in there for 24 hours, and later in the video, we'll come back and test it to see how each product performs. Before we move on to our next test, you'll notice that all major brands of oil have an American Petroleum Institute donut, which includes two important pieces of information. It includes the viscosity grade. Viscosity is a measure of the resistance of a fluid flow. In a 10W30 oil, for example, the 10W, W stands for winter, simply means that an oil must have a certain maximum viscosity or flow at low temperature. The lower the W number, the better the oil's cold temperature performance. The 30 in 10W30 simply means that the oil must flow within a certain viscosity limits at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's face it, while all these products are rated the same in the lab environment to meet the minimum requirements, in the real world, it gets colder and it gets hotter than what they're tested at. So let's see how they perform at each temperature extreme. The second piece of information that we're interested in is the two-letter code at the top of the donut. Both the Valvoline and the Mobile One are rated for SN, which simply means that both of these oils are designed to provide improved high temperature deposit protection for pistons, more stringent sludge control, and seal compatibility. The Amazon Basics is actually rated for SN+. So what benefits do SN Plus rated oil products offer over SN? They address the increasing impact of low-speed pre-ignition in turbocharged gasoline direct injection engines. What is low-speed pre-ignition? Low-speed pre-ignition is simply an abnormal combustion process at low engine speeds in which the fuel air mixture in the combustion chamber ignites before spark timing. This can cause engine knock, broken spark plugs, and cracked pistons, and in severe cases, catastrophic engine failure. With all that said, you really don't need the SN Plus designation unless you own a turbocharged gasoline direct injection engine. Since each one of these products claim that it contains anti-wear additives, we're going to be testing each product on the lubricity tester and comparing the amount of wear that takes place. I have a separate video that explains how the lubricity tester works, so please consider checking it out. In this test, we'll be weighing the bearings before and after the test and measuring the scar on the bearing.
very interesting results on the lubricity test. The Valvoline is on the left, Amazon Basics is in the middle, and the Mobile One is on the right. Obviously, both synthetic oils really tore up the Valvoline. However, it's a very close race between both the Mobile One and the Amazon, with Mobile One clearly coming in first place, but Amazon Basics really didn't do that bad when you consider the price of the oil. Calculating the area for an ellipse, the size of the scar on the Mobile One bearing is 12.4 square millimeters. So the size of the scar on the Mobile One bearing is nearly 26% smaller than the Valvoline bearing. Also, the Mobile One scar is approximately 9% less than the Amazon Basics scar. Regarding the Amazon Basics, the size of the scar is 17% less than the Valvoline scar. Very impressive. After sitting in the freezer overnight, it's time to conduct the cold temperature oil flow test. I have to admit, I was rather surprised to see the Amazon Basics oil hit the slide first. After all, Mobile One is an amazing product. In the end, Amazon Basics won the race by a solid 2 inches over Mobile One, and both brands beat Valvoline by a solid 6 inches, demonstrating their superior cold flow capability. In the next test, we'll be heating up each one of these oils in a very similar manner to the NOAC volatility test, using a little bit different process since we don't have the multi-million dollar equipment setup that most oil testing labs have. The first thing I'm going to do is measure the weight of each one of these coffee pots. The second thing I'm going to do is then fill each one of these cups with the respective motor oil that we'll be testing and then I'm going to weigh each one. Then I'm going to add the contents into the containers and weigh the container and the contents together for a total weight. After the test we're going to measure how much of the contents actually evaporated off. I'm adding a little oil to each container just to make sure we're pretty close to 200 grams. Amazon is now at 407 grams and began at 207 grams. Valvoline's at 442 grams. It originally started off at 242 grams. And Mobile One is now at 431 grams and originally began at 232 grams. If you want to protect your engine and keep it running smoothly, you just don't want an oil that's going to evaporate quickly. The appropriate test to measure the evaporative loss is known as the NOAC volatility test. The NOAC test involves heating the oil up to 482 degrees Fahrenheit for a period of one hour along with constant airflow. Since I don't have this special piece of test equipment, I'm only going to heat the oil up to 400 degrees for a period of two hours. This test exposes oil to some high temperature as well as air to simulate conditions in the area around the top of piston rings of the engine. I rotated the position of each coffee pot every five minutes just in case one part of the electric griddle was slightly hotter than another spot. The Valvoline appears to have the most vapor compared to the Amazon and Mobile One. Each of the products has had a chance to cool off, so I'm going to go ahead and weigh each one of these one at a time, beginning with Valvoline. Valvoline started off at 442 grams, it's down to 439. Amazon started off at 407 grams. It lost a total of 1 gram, 406. Mobile One started off at 431 grams. It's down to 430 grams. So how do each one of these oil brands perform after they've been exposed to a significant amount of heat? We're going to place these oil products in the freezer again and rerun the flow test to see how they perform. Well, I have to admit, I'm really impressed with the Amazon Basics full synthetic engine oil testing. It actually performed extremely well against Mobile One. 
Mo One does seem to have a better film strength. However, Amazon Basics flows better in cold temperatures, even after it's been cooked for a couple of hours. Pretty impressive performance. Would I use this oil in a vehicle? Absolutely. In fact, I'm near the end of an oil change interval in one of my vehicles. I need to change that oil really soon. And I've noticed that it has used less oil than normal. Now in the past, I've used a synthetic blend. And of course that synthetic blend is most likely evaporating off a little faster than a synthetic would as we saw in the evaporative testing. Just as a reminder, I don't make a dime if you buy this product. I'm not invested in Amazon basics in any way. I don't even have an affiliate account because I don't want to be tied to selling products of any sort. My objective is to provide unbiased testing. I get all my video ideas from you guys. You requested it, so thanks for the request. Please keep those ideas coming, and I'll keep making videos. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.